Grade 3 math number 65, equal shares. Equal shares are fair, aren't they? That's when everyone gets the same amount and someone doesn't get more than the next person. That's the fairest way to share something, isn't it? So let's see what we've got here. We've got six orange jelly beans. You want to share them with your friends Kaylee and Amara. So how many do you each get? What fraction of the total do you get? All right, well, we want to split this evenly. So we're going to give this one to you. This will be your group. Okay. And we'll give, uh, let's do different colors. Okay. Kaylee will get a pink circle. Okay. And we'll give Amar a blue circle. But we still have three left over. So that means you get another one. Okay, so now you have two. There's enough for Kaylee to get another one, right? And look, there's enough for Amar to get another one. So, everyone got two. So Kaylee got two, Amar got two, and you got two. That's you, see? There were six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, how many do each of you get? You each get two. And what fraction of the total do you get? You got two out of the six. See how we wrote that fraction? You each got two of the six jelly beans. Okay? All right. Here we have a pan of brownies. Mmm, yum. And how many brownies are here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And your mom tried to cut them as evenly as possible, okay? So that one person doesn't have a bigger piece than the other. So there's a pan of brownies cut into eight equal pieces. You have three friends plus yourself. How can you split this pan of brownies with yourself and three friends? Well, how many people is that? Three friends plus you. Three plus you is one more person, so that's four people. So you need to split the eight brownies in this pan between four people. So how many brownies does each person get? Well, look. We'll give this one to you and this one to you, okay? And now you still have three friends. This one can go to friend one. This two can go to friend two. See, those two go to friend one. These two go to friend two. And these two go to friend three. And everybody gets two brownies. So how many brownies does each person get? They each got two. What fraction of brownies did each person get out of the total of eight? You each got two of the eight. You each got two of the eight brownies. So two-eighths, you got two-eighths of the pan of brownies. See that? Let's look at this one. There's three cherry candies, and you want to share them with your grandmother and grandfather. So how many would everyone get? Well, there's you, that's one person. There's your grandmother, that's person number two. And there's your grandfather. That's person number three. So we have three candies and three people. So guess what? Everybody's going to get one candy. You get one, your grandmother gets one, and your grandfather gets one. And everyone shared equally. Right? Nobody got more than the other person. Now, if you only got one of them, what fraction did you get? You got one of the three. You got one-third of the candies. One-third. See that? This is two-sixths and this is two-eighths. This is what it looks like. Two-eighths. Look at all those H's there. You write the word eight and because it ends with a T, you just add an HS at the end. 
two eighths. That's how many brownies you got. For the jelly beans, you got two sixths. Two hyphen S I X T H S. Two sixths. For the cherry candies, you got one third. One hyphen third. One third. That's equal shares. You split everything up so that everyone gets an equal amount. What would happen if there were four cherry candies here? What would happen if there were four cherry candies here? How would you split that evenly? In fact, that one looks a little small, doesn't it? Let's make it as big as the other ones. What if there were four cherry candies here, but you wanted to split them evenly? Well, you know what you could do? You could cut this cherry candy into three pieces, okay? Let's try to make it look like it's fair here, because we said it's equal, right? You could cut this one piece of cherry candy into three equal pieces, and each person could get a piece of that candy. See? They would each get, because there's one, two, three, they would each get one-third of this piece of candy. They would get one of the three pieces. See that? Equal sharing. That means each person would get one and a third candies. That would be written like this, one and one third. They'd get a whole piece and a third of a piece. Equal sharing. That's always fair, isn't it? That's a good way to, to make everything fair and even for everybody. See you next video.